guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Today I am going to be doing another haul. Um, but it is my haul from Nashville after the Christie Awards I was able to go um, to Nashville to the Christie's and I I'm just very blessed I'm very thankful um, that I'm able to do the things that I'm able to do go to the events that I'm able to go I know there are a lot of readers out there who can't um, and please know that I don't take it for granted and I never try to say it as a boasting thing but I am very thankful that I get to do the things that I can um, but yes I went to the Christie's and I was able to see authors and friends that I haven't seen in so long I was able to meet new friends and meet new authors and just uh, it is a wonderful time I absolutely loved it uh, I took my mama with me, so we had a wonderful time, and we were there for four days, and in that four days, I got to do a lot of stuff. So Wednesday, there was a reader event, um, Wednesday night for dinner, and then Thursday was all day um, conference and gala, and then Friday, I met up with one of my most dearest friends at McKay's bookstore, and we got to spend a couple hours together and then my mom and I spent <laughs> even more time there because it's McKay's and if you can ever go to a McKay's please do oh man it is just heavenly um, and then on Saturday I got to meet up with Amanda uh, book lover Amanda here on YouTube and Instagram and she is just She's a joy to be around. Um, one of the most genuine people. Who she is on screen is who she is off screen. Um, and I think that that is a hard balance for some people to have. But she is truly who she presents herself to be. And I absolutely appreciate that. I loved that. Um, we got to spend quite a few hours together. Um, and it, I'm just so thankful that she made the drive to come see me. Um, and we also, of course did some bookish things and did some bookish shopping so I have a haul from that store too so we did a ton of shopping <laughs> that week but I am absolutely excited and thrilled with the haul that I have so I thought that I would share it with you guys so without further ado here we go oh also this is filmed on my new camera we're gonna be testing out the audio um, to see if it works. So if I'm looking up, I finally have a viewfinder, <laughs> which has been my biggest issue with my other camera. Um, but, so yeah, if you catch me looking up, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to remember to look at you guys right there. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna see how it goes, and I'm super excited. Let's start. Um, I'm gonna start first with the books that I got from the Christie Awards. So one thing that they do is as a table gift, parting gift, um, just because you're here gift, I don't really know what they consider it, um, but on all of the tables there are the books that have been nominated for the awards and those are for um, the people who are there to take home. There were three that I was like if I can get one of these three I would be happy but towards the end of the night if there's anything left over they want you to take them they don't want books left over on the table um, so there were three books that I wanted with all of my being and I was able to get all three of them and I, I was so excited again wasn't expecting it wasn't like oh my goodness if I don't get all three of these I'm gonna be so upset no, I was very blessed to find the three that I wanted, and um, they had been unclaimed. Again, it was towards the end of the event, so if they were sitting there, they were <laughs> they were even walking around and like, please, if you see books, take them. Um, so, I will show you the books that I came home with from the Christie's. I got Recorder by Kathy McComb. 
This cover is very intriguing. I'll show you. It's like a sci-fi cover. It's published by Enclave Publishing. Um, and then my beautiful friend Emily Haney was there. She is Create Explore Read on Instagram as well as um, she's right. She wrote under the pen name Belle Renshaw, and now she is officially writing under her own name. Very very exciting stuff. Um, but she's also a cover designer, and she designs covers for Enclave Publishing. And it was very exciting because she did in fact design um, the recorder cover. Also, look, it's orange. But since she was there, I had her sign my front cover of um, the cover. Since it's really exciting. She designed it. It's beautiful. And, yeah. The next one I got is A Gentle Tyranny by Jess Corbin. Super gorgeous, this cover. Up close, it's like glittery. It's glitzy. And then, um, I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys. Let's see. It. behind the T you see the eyeballs Ooh. and then the last one I got that was a uh, nominee was realms of light by Sandra Fernandez Rhodes and this is book two in the colliding line series that she did with Enclave publishing absolutely gorgeous those are the three that I picked up from the table the ones that I looking at the nominees I was like ooh, I really really want these um, but then some of my beautiful friends, they run the publicity company called Just Read Tours. Awesome if you can, if you are active in the um, social media area and you want to help talk about books, definitely uh, recommend checking out Just Read. They're amazing. Love the team there. But Beth was um, doing a book giveaway. She did have a book that has been on my to buy list for a while and that is Shadowed Loyalty by Rosanna M. White. Those are the books that I got from the Art of Writing Christie Award Gala Day. Um, and then next we will go into my McKay's Hall. If you've never been to McKay's before it is a giant used bookstore um, and they have games, movies, um, like toys, um, books, just like children's books. They have three floors. Like, it's just crazy. And the deals are fabulous. Uh, so mom and I typically will be in there for quite a few hours. I have been able to stop a few times, thankfully. Um, we went to the one in Nashville, but they also have one in Knoxville and Chattanooga. So McKay options out there. Um, but we have been able to stop at a few different McKay's over the years um, just because we do take quite a few road trips and Tennessee is only a few hours from us. So, we typically drive. So that means that I don't really have to worry about weight <laughs> or limits or anything because it's just going in the car and it's fine. So, uh, Mom and I spent quite a few hours in McKay's and we both came out with quite a nice haul. Um, but I will go ahead and show you what I got. I'll start with the movies first. I know typically I only do books. There were some that I've been wanting to see, uh, some that I know are good and stuff like that. So their movies were s super cheap and I love a good DVD. <laughs> I'm a traditionalist. I like paperbacks, DVDs, like all the CDs. I'm, that is me. <laughs> so first I got Mamma Mia. Sabrina with Audrey Hepburn. I got White Christmas, brand new in packaging. I know it's crazy, but I've never seen this movie. Um, but I will be watching it this season. The Nativity Story, Made in Manhattan. It's a Meaningful Life Veggie Tales, but of course, had to get the actual It's a Meaningful Life. God's Not Dead, Breakfast at Tiffany's with Audrey Hepburn. Letters to Juliet, My Sister's Keeper, Marley and Me. Sydney White, Last Holiday, Wedding Planner, and The Help. So, got a wide variety of movies. Um, I have seen quite a few of them, um, but again, I just like to have like actual DVDs, some good rom-coms to try out, all kinds of stuff. So, got some good movies, but now what you've really been waiting for, the books. The first book I got is A Daughter's Return by Janet Lee Barton. 
This is a Love Inspired Historical. One of the ones I don't have. <laughs> um, but you can never pass them up for 35 cents. The next one I got is Merry Humbug Christmas by Sandra B. Bricker. And this, or Sandra D. Bricker, sorry. This has two novellas in there. So, Once Upon a Jingle Bell and It Came Upon a Midnight Deer. This has been on my, um, hey, if you see this, maybe you'll like it. Pick it up pile for a while. Um, and I was super excited to find it for $2.50. It's super, super cute. Love the gingerbread men. The next one I have is There You'll Find Me by Jenny B. Jones. I've heard amazing things about Jenny, um, and I haven't tried her books. I have a few of them, um, but I think this is one of Audrey's favorite books, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. She loves Jenny B. Jones. I do know that. The next one I got is Under the Magnolias by T.I. Lowe, and this was actually nominated for a Christie. Um, I got to talk to her for the briefest of seconds, um, and I'm terrible because I was just talking to her, had no clue who she was, and then found out afterwards um, that she wrote this, but she is so incredibly sweet. Then I got No One Ever Asked by Katie Ganchart. Next I got This Time Around. This is a novella collection with stories by Denise Hunter, Melissa Ferguson, and, F Melissa Ferguson, and Kathleen Fuller. This is so stinking cute. I absolutely love it. Love a good novella collection. Next one I got is The Paris Dressmaker by Christy Cambron. This cover is beautiful. So gorgeous. I got Off the Chain by Janice Thompson. This is book one in the Gone to the Dogs Mysteries. Super, super cute. I know that Lindsay has been um, talking about this series a little bit. I don't remember. Yeah, this is the first one and it just came out this year. Um, but I know that Lindsay loves Janice Thompson, has for years. She's one of her favorites. Um, so I was excited when I saw this. I got Bless Your Heart, Ray Sutton, and this is by Susanna B. Lewis. Super excited to read this. Love a good southern book. There's just something about it. Then I got Destined for You by Tracy Peterson, and this is her Ladies of the Lake series. I have no clue which one it is, um, but again, I like to pick up uh, Tracy's books when I find them. So I found it for super cheap and in perfect condition and y'all this cover I can't really show you on camera but it is beautiful it's like pearl like pearly and shimmery and very beautiful then I got um, the two books in her love on the Santa Fe series Along the Rio Grande and Beyond the Desert Sands. Again, don't know which one is which. Um, but they were two bucks pop, so I had to grab them. Then I got A Haven for Her Heart by Susan Ann Mason. This is book one in her Redemption's Light series. I did read book two earlier this year, and while I didn't necessarily love it. Um, it was very interesting and the plot and premise was super intriguing and this one they talk about some of the characters from this book in book two. I didn't feel like I missed anything by not reading this book um, but just kind of looking at the like note from the author and the subject matter I really thought that it would be an interesting book to read and have. Um, so yeah. Then I got The Space Between Words by Michelle Phoenix. Next I got Rooms by James L. Rupert. He spoke at the Christie or the Art of Writing Conference in 2019 and he was so interesting to listen to talk. Um, just he was an amazing speaker and I got a couple of his books after that <laughs> but this one has been on my radar this is the one he was talking about the most while he was like giving his um, 
type thing. Um, but yeah, found it super cheap in perfect condition. So I picked it up. The next one I got was Provenance by Carla Loreno. This is published by Tyndale. This is her newest release with them. And I was super excited to find it. I know Amanda has it. Um, I don't remember if she's read it yet. Um, and if she did what she thought of it. But again, I like to collect things. And because I have Carla's other contemporary books. And I found this one for $2.50. I had to pick it up. No questions asked. Next one I have, ooh, dropping things, is King's Blood by Jill Williamson, and this is book two in the Kingsman Chronicles. Next I picked up the Valiant Hearts uh, Romance Collection. This just has nine stories from nine different authors. Uh, they're short stories. Again, I love a novella collection. I don't remember if I have this one or not. It is a very good possibility that I do. Um, because I, anytime I find these for relatively cheap, if they sound interesting to me, I will pick them up. Um, but if I have it, then I will gift it to someone, whether it's my mama, my grandma, or a couple ladies in our church love to read as well. So I, I always have options to give away my books to people. <laughs> Next, I got Isle of Fire by Wayne Thomas Batson. And this is a part of a, like, young adult maybe even younger, um, like middle grade pirate adventure series. Um, I have Isle of Swords and I found this one. It was a little more expensive, um, but $6.50 for a hardback is not, not that, it's really not that expensive. Come on, Alicia, calm down. But compared to the other books that I got, this one was um, one of the more expensive ones. But that is A-OK. -okay. It's in perfect condition. Um, super, super cool. The pages are blue. So that was very intriguing. I'm excited to have this, uh, at least books one and two. I think it's a trilogy. I'll have to find out. Um, but yeah, super excited to have it when I'm in a pirate mood. And then I got The Conqueror by Brian Litvin. This is book one in Constantine's Empire. I almost didn't pick it up because I was like, I really don't need a fantasy book, another fantasy book. I have so many. Um, but it was in perfect condition for $3. And I was like, you know what? We're just going to pick it up. And I'm actually really excited that I did, and I will tell you why in just a minute. And the last book that I got from McKay's is actually a nonfiction book. Um but it is Forgiving What You Can't Forget by Lisa Turkhurst. I do have a copy of this already. My beautiful friend Jenna um, sent me a copy that she had found and wrote this beautiful message inside. Touched my heart. All the tears. It was a whole whole thing. Um, but the copy had been used before so it had some, you know, the other person's thoughts and feelings and underlines and I love that. It's super cool. I think I'm, I'll be excited to kind of pick through that and see why they thought what they thought um, in the book but I also wanted to have a copy that wasn't marked up um, just for my collection and one that I can read so I don't get distracted um, so I found this one for four bucks and I was super excited to find it it's in perfect condition so I also picked this one up as well those are the books that I got from McKay's the movies all of the McKay's things beautiful haul wasn't it I loved it. So now I will go into the haul that I got when I was with Amanda and we went to the Christian Publishers Outlet in Madison, Tennessee. So about half an hour outside of Nashville. Um, so if you can ever get to one of those, I would suggest going there too. They have one in Murfreesboro. Um, I'm pretty sure I've been there before as well a couple years ago, but it's been so long I could be wrong. Um, but walking in definitely looked familiar, so I know it wasn't that one just because that one is brand new, but whatever. If you can go to a Christian publishing publisher's outlet, definitely go. They have some wonderful deals. Again, they have everything. Um, they have children's section, they have nonfiction, Bibles, decor, Christian fiction, all kinds of stuff. It's awesome. So the first book I will show you is the reason why I was excited to get... Um, the first book in the Constantine's Empire book series because I found book two at the Christian Publishers Outlet for 
three dollars as well and this is every me shall bow absolutely beautiful another chunker of a book but you can't pass up a three dollar hardcover pretty sure there's a law about it somewhere quote me then I got we were kings by court Stevens y'all this was two dollars two dollars this has been on my list to buy since the first time I saw it, and that was mm, a while ago and then I got Castle of Refuge by Melanie Dickerson and this is um, in her Derricotte Tale series so it was seven dollars why not I think I have book one that I got from uh, Baker a while ago then I got Keep It Shut uh, by Karen Emin. This is a nonfiction book and it's what to say, how to say, and when to say nothing at all. And I got a big mouth and I say things that I shouldn't say quite a bit. Um, so I'm very excited to read this. Got Stained Stylish by Candace Cameron, Candace Cameron Bure. Two dollars. I'm excited to have it, to look through it. Why not? I got Can't Make This Stuff Up by Susan B. Lewis and, or Suzanne, Susanna, <laughs> Susanna B. Lewis. I got Bless Your Heart, Ray Sutton, which is her fiction book. Um, and then I do have How May I Offend You or How Else May I Offend You. Then I got the Chisholm Trail Bride by Kathleen Yabarbo. Um, this is a part of the Daughters of Mayflower series. Then I got Courting Calamity, and this is a novella collection with stories by Amanda Barrett, Gabrielle Meyer, Jennifer Yolarik, and Kathleen Yabarbo. I got Shine Like the Dawn by Carrie Taransky. And then I have The June Boys, also by Court Stevens. And then I got The Gold Digger by Liz Tolsom. Tolsma. This is in the American True Colors. True Colors series that Barbara is publishing or did publish. So they are fiction based on strange but true history. I've read a few of them. Um, again, I own most of them. I have to figure out now which ones I need to finish it off, but I think I'm pretty close to it. Uh, but again, I like to pick them up when I find them. I've read a few of them. They're very intriguing, very interesting. Uh, but yeah. And then the last book that I got from the Christian Publisher Outlet and the last book in this very long haul video is The Purple Nightgown by A.D. Lawrence and this is also in the True Colors series. Overall, um, I had a pretty awesome haul. I had a wonderful time. Again, I'm so beyond thankful that I can do it. I'm so thankful that I get to go um, and I'm very thankful that I get to uh, live the life that I do. It's pretty awesome. I'm very thankful for it. I'm thankful that I get to add to my book collection and I have the ability to do that um, and meet up with friends and see new people and have the relationships that I do. I am just, my heart is full and I'm, I'm really blessed and I, I do know that and I try not to take it for granted. So yeah, but that's that. That's my haul. That's everything that I got. <laughs> Now the struggle is going to be to find space. So we'll see how that goes. Let me know in the comments below uh, any books that you've read, what you thought about them, um, any that are on your TBR or any books in here that you would have picked up or seem interesting to you. I would really like to know. Don't forget you can check out my blog at fiction.blogspot.com. You can check out my Instagram at fiction, and all my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.